Welcome to Display Week at SID 2024. My name is Bruce Elliott with SIDTEC. SIDTEC is a manufacturer of displays, in particular micro OLED displays. So, so we here we see some pretty big, are those micro OLED displays? This would be the starting point for a micro OLED display. What you're looking at is an 8 inch wafer. That is the backlink for the micro OLED display. So SIDTEC has the uh, in-house design capability to design the, the wafers and after that the processing for the OLED is done on top of that along with the encapsulation, all the thin film encapsulation and then the modulization. And here at uh, Display Week 2024 you do have this as uh, kind of like a placeholder. You're going to be doing 4K by 4K micro OLED product. Absolutely. So SIDTEC has been manufactured micro OLED since 2020. It started on the 8 inch fab. A lot of these products are very mature. First generation, really supporting the China domestic market. So brightnesses are older generation. The big news with SIDTEC for this year is at the 12 inch fab. And when I say 12 inch fab, that would be the silicon wafer size. It's moving from 8 inches to 12 inches. And we will be producing the next generation of AR, VR type of screens for the marketplace. Is this so again, that wafer, inch? this is an 8 inch wafer. These particular ones right here on here are a .49 inch and this wafer now would go to a 12 inch wafer so we get a lot more output better pricing and it advances our design capabilities for the micro OLED product. So can we see what it looks like when it's is it on demonstration So here? if you want to see which one this is you can look right here and there would be the micro OLED lit up so that would be a 0.49 inch that pixel size is 5.6 micron square so very small pixels on it. Uh, the brightness on those is 3000 nits and each of those four displays is the same thing we just arrayed that out. If you move over towards your left a little bit, all the way to the end, you can see a brightness level of 10,000 nits. So this is using a special technology called uh, SLCF, which means SIDTEC Low Color Filter. So it's a process in which we're allowing a lot more light to come through the screen to get to a 10,000 nit product, which is really desirable in the AR. Is it AR something space. you can uh, easily, more easily do when the screen is smaller to do the higher nits? Uh, it's scalable, so uh, it's easier to prove the concept of a smaller screen size, certainly. Uh, that's why we started it off on the 0.23 inch. The other aspect of that is the 0.23 inch is a newer generation display for SIDTEC. So it allows us to experiment a little more to get the higher brightness screens uh, into the marketplace. And here we have 0 0.39. Right, go, moving over to the side, right, 0 0.39. That pixel pitch is 7.5 micron by 7.5 micron. So it varies, you know, a lot of these are customer requirements and we try to hit the sweet spot in the market space for, for that. Uh, when you look behind the lens, this is uh, the, the panel, this is actually a micro OLED, what we would sell to a customer. So you can see the, uh, the, there's a TFT cell on top of the, the back plane and you see the modulization, uh, which is a flex attachment that happens from there. So that would be a product very indicative of what SIDTEC would be shipping to a, a major OEM or any type of OEM is looking for the product. So I want to focus just again on the big news from SIDTEC is the 12 inch fab will be operational within the next 30 days. That is a huge step forward for the micro display industry. It's going to launch a whole new generation of high technology and capacity for the marketplace. With that capacity, it's going to help drive the price down to make this display technology a lot more mature and reachable for consumers in the, in the market. Because what Apple is doing is pretty nice, but it's... Um, Apple's Vision Pro is a little bit expensive. <laughs> and is there any chance you can help make some more affordable devices? Yes, yeah, so a Vision Pro display would be a 4K display, very similar to uh, what I'm showing here, the 1.35 inch 4K display. So that would be similar to what Apple's showing. And with any display product, uh, size matters as far as what the price is. So when you have a 1.3 to 1.4 inch product, it costs a lot more than the 0.49. A lot of that is how many wafers you get out of the master die that's coming out. So the more wafers, the lower that cost can be. So part of the driving price is is the size, but the size 1.3 to 1.4 is a sweet spot in the micro OLED area. It gives you some of your best optical performance out there, but it does carry a cost premium. So Apple is currently using some uh, first generation sources or source sets that's been in the marketplace for a long time, but the price maturity is just not going to curve go down until they really look at other sources. So we hope to have, be able to help companies like Apple and others bring that cost point down dramatically with the evolution of our, our new 12 inch uh, fab. Is there any chance we can get 4K by 4K VR, AR device for less than $1,000 or something like that? We, it's hard to say. Uh, absolutely. I'd say first targets right now, I think $1,500 is not out of the uh, range of expectation for AR, VR, but in years to come, 
who knows? It should just keep driving down. Maybe one day it's going to be 500 bucks. You get the really nice uh, AR glasses. It could be, absolutely. All that stuff is possible. And how do you compete with a micro LED? So micro LED, so right now, uh, the here and now is micro OLED. So micro OLED was really validated with the launch of the Apple Vision Pro that's using a, uh, a micro OLED product. Uh, micro LED is not quite ready for prime time, but it's certainly a technology that SidTech and other companies are keeping an eye on. Many companies are pursuing that technology as a next generation. So we'll see how things evolve in the next few years. But again, the Apple Vision Pro has really validated micro OLED, and it's now driven a lot of companies to be pursuing similar paths on, on that front. And with the investment, uh, again, we are going to start seeing a point now where prices can decrease on the micro OLED front to help all consumers. So I'm not totally sure if the online rumors are true, but maybe Apple was working with some company called Sony or something like that, and then Samsung has something going on, and at this show, LG is showing off micro OLED also? Correct. So Correct. Correct. There's so a competition, and, and BOE is a competitor? There's, there's BOE, so uh, we look at that as good news. Again, Apple Vision, Apple validated the technology. Samsung getting into the field, LG getting into the field further validates what they see as the future for micro OLED. So that helps the case. SidTech has an advantage because we've made the investment. The investment for the new 12-inch fab was over $800 million, and SidTech is in position to be able to do that and, and, and realize those gains, where a lot of the other companies I mentioned are not able to do that. And those companies located in Japan and in Korea are limited as far as just investing $800 million. So we hope that SidTech can get that leap and step ahead on the capacity and therefore pricing standpoints uh, in the market. And I think the way to get to mass market, Apple is doing a good job, right? But I think the real mass market is going to be $1,500 or something like that, where more people can afford it to experiment with this new platform. Because it's a, yes. you know, when it, the, the Apple one costs more than my car, it's a little bit uh, <laughs> hard. Right. Well, Apple did what Apple does. It's a first generation product. It's a very high technology and a very first generation technology. So they, they whetted the appetite of the market and they showed what's achievable. You can fully expect gener further generations of other products to have that price point come down uh, in the next couple of years. And it says uh, 12 inch, 6K wafers per month. That's Correct. a lot of uh, wafers. So that's a tandem structure, and that's what we call phase one. So phase one will be 6K wafers per month, 12-inch uh, wafer. Uh, depending on how many, uh, what size micro OLED you're talking, the number of wafers will vary. So say for a 4K screen, you're going to get 50 to 60 wafers out on that uh, piece of silicon. So that is showing uh, very high volume uh, capability. Because uh, what we're seeing here, it looks like, a, can you hold this? Is it fragile? Um, it looks like pretty big each of these uh, screens. It, it looks like this could be the size of a 4K. Yeah, this uh, these would be 1.03 inch uh, backplanes. So the 4K even bigger. So these would have, uh, and this is on an 8 inch wafer, so there are 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there are 30 wafers on this one. These ones are not being used. They could be at a next generation, but uh, this is on an 8 inch. So if we move this up to a 12 inch, that number is going to increase. But yeah, this is closer to a 4K resolution. This particular resolution is about 2500 by 2500 for this particular display. That's awesome. And uh, the lifetime, the lifespan of these kind of devices is going to be good? So OLED technology in general has advanced over the years. You now see the OLED is the predominant display in smartphones. You see OLEDs coming out this year in tablets. So they've really solved some of the issues um, related to lifetime. There's a lot of ways to, to help maximize that. And Zintec is using a, a variety of different IP and technology uh, items to, to achieve the lifetime that it's required.